The question is automatic or non automatic? What's the difference? And automatic pumps are what we consider the pumps with the little side mounted float. And non automatic, same pump, no float. So when do you use one and when do you use the other? Automatic uh, pumps are good for your typical sump pump application or uh, you know, single uh, simplex sewage residential application. Plumbers like to install these because they're very, very simple. The on and off is preset. Basically, you set the pump in, uh, the pit, you set it up, you pipe it up, you plug it into the wall, it's ready to go. There's really no uh, having to you know, set float heights and that kind of thing. Very, very simple, very, very effective. So for most of your residential applications, most people are going to put in an automatic pump. Non-automatic pumps, generally, they don't have the switch. And the advantage of a non-automatic, especially if you're in, a, in a, like a big pit, is you can put a tethered float in there, either a piggyback or something like that, and you can set that to, to pump at a much wider range. Again, we talked about pumps being happier when they're running rather than starting and stopping. Well, the, maybe the drawback to an automatic design is that this is your pumping range. This is what you're going to get. So if pumps, you know, water's coming into your pit at a pretty good clip and you have a small pit, guess what? It's going to do this a lot. If you've got a larger pit, same pump, larger pit, and you go to a non-automatic design and you can tether that so that the way the float works is when it's the float, the tethered floats in the down position, it's off. When it comes up, there's a ball in there that slides down and that, that closes the contacts and turns the pump on. Well, if you tether it long enough, you can get a long tether on that or a long pumping range so that your pump is running less frequently and when it does turn on, it's running longer. So you don't see a lot of tethered pumps in new construction because the pits that they put in these houses these days are glorified five gallon buckets and and you don't have room to tether a switch that's why the automatic pump is so advantageous but if you get into a situation where you can put in a larger pit and I get asked this all the time you know is it better to have a big pit than a small pit and the answer is almost always yes it's better um, so if you have the the luxury of having a little bit bigger pit and you can tether it your pumps are probably gonna last a lot longer. Uh, also, your non-automatic pumps are generally gonna be used in commercial applications uh, where you have like a duplex pump system, two pumps instead of one, and you're gonna control those pumps through a control panel that's gonna have tethered switches to tell those pumps when to turn on, when to turn off, when to alternate between the pumps and that type of thing.